This is the best I can do right now. I don't know. This is the best setup that I can have. At least you guys can hear me. Hello, by the way. I'm Rin Senpai. How are you doing? Welcome back. You may know that I like to dress femininely from time to time, often. Maybe you only know me in this form. Recently, I've been doing just kind of, you know, casual, you know, masculine, neutral looks, which is basically me just waking up and, you know, washing my hair and then going at it on the internet. Yeah. Woo! Today, I want to talk about how over this, you know, this shutdown we've had for the last half a year now. Can you believe it? It's been maybe more than half a year. It's like, it's already September, so like three quarters of the year. Haven't been able to go anywhere. So with my time, I've managed to lose about three inches off my waist and 10 pounds or 15 pounds. Can't remember. I like, I weigh about 153 right now, which is the lowest I've been in forever and my waist is about 30 to 31 inches depending on how I feel. So I've bought a lot of new clothes because now I just fit a bunch of different things and I'm very excited to finally have different things to wear. Even though I'm starting off in these suspenders that I got. Yeah, I know, trust me, th th there's some more variety coming up here. <laughs> this video is not sponsored by any fashion store though. Uh, all of these I bought on my own with my own cash. Half of what I got is a miss. Some of it just doesn't, you know, doesn't look good. And I don't return it because I, I just keep things. Maybe I might use them for something later. Um, but a lot of things that I got, they were really good. And one of them, you probably, you, you, most of you probably already seen some of the outfits that I put up on my Instagram, which you should go follow by the way, Instagram.com slash Rinsenpai selfies. And if you like the even spicier stuff, OnlyFans.com slash Rinsenpai, go, 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 go. So I'll just go over each one and just talk about why I got it. Uh, some of the styles are pretty, you know, um, regular for me. Some of them I go out. One of them I haven't even tried on yet. <laughs> and one of them is my absolute favorite. And so yeah. But before we get started, do you guys remember Crossdress Show? The ones that provided me a breast form vest and breast form inserts for just me, just to have? They're sponsoring this video, so let's just talk about them real quick here. I still have my long full vest that goes down to here which has the navel on there without obviously showing the front of this thing it's kind of had a bit of wear and tear now as you can see here as long as i don't go too reckless on it it can still last otherwise it's still quite in good condition the neckline is good and the these things they are intact well haven't leaked they're very big still um I don't wear this very often because it's very big and, you know, summers around here is not really ideal to wear in the heat. However, they did send me another one with more modest sized, uh, boobs. <laughs> it's still kind of a bit darker than me, but that's just because I haven't gone outside in a while. Um, you've guys seen this all before. There isn't really much to go over. It's a nice vest. You put it on. They look really good. Here's some photos of them, how well they can look. Uh, my recommendation is not to wear them for longer than an hour. I have seen a comment from someone saying they wore it for two weeks straight. Don't do that. Don't do that. The reasoning was they really, really, you know, just have some serious dysphoria. And I get that. And that I do think these are really um, good for trans women that really want to experience that. I'm sorry, trans men, I have nothing to offer you. <laughs> I get this question a lot, too. A lot of you are like, how about for trans men, what do you got? I was like, I... I'm sorry, I don't have anything. But I prefer the inserts. I'm wearing them right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> if I hold them like this, you can't see the fronts, but they're like this. It's nice silicone. They do have a nipple on the front there. I don't know why, what's the point of that? I prefer these a lot because they just go on like this and they're light. They don't. They get sweaty a little bit, right? But just where they are, but they feel very like soft and they have that shape. They have that teardrop shape going on to them. So they look better than like just stuffing socks in there and you have this like really weird like ball on your chest. I totally recommend these over those things if you don't want to wear low cut. I can understand people really, you know, like seeing cleavage really like makes it feel like it's real. You have it you're there, right? But me personally, I don't need that. <laughs> just having like a shape and I just like, I just like these better, I really do. I overheat a lot, that's why I don't normally wear them, but I do wear them sometimes for photos, you've seen them. 
especially on OnlyFans. So check them out, Crossdresser. These, if you're gonna get anything, I definitely recommend these at least. Get get yourself a set of these for sure. They're pretty affordable. They come in many different skin tones, though. Once again, I wear them just under my shirt, just as inserts. So try it out, Crossdresser.com. Check them out. Link down below. I believe I have a code. I don't remember. I'll include it in the comments, but you get a discount. So, bigger purchases are obviously better savings. Check them out. Cross dress show. Let me slip these back in. The worst thing is <laughs> readjusting these when they twist and kind of fall down. Ah, there we go. Back on. Bam. Woo. Anyway, so there's a couple stores that I bought from. And where did I find these stores? Facebook advertising <laughs> or YouTube or whatever, right? Um, I get lots of fashion ads because I do click on the things that pop up and interest me. Mostly just clothes. So one of them is called Zaful, I believe. And then they have like a sister store or like a similar store because they all sell, sell the same thing. Shane? Shine? I don't know how to pronounce it. They seem to be the same because they have very similar bags and when I ordered one from the other, the other bag showed up anyway. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So it's probably the same store. My experience with them so far, hit or miss. Mostly 50-50, I would say. It's a hit and a miss. So they do have reviews on their store that you can look at. So I just generally look at those and buyer beware, right? Part of doing online shopping is, yeah, it's scary. Sometimes you get the wrong thing and you just ultimately end up wasting money. Some stores do uh, returns. Just make sure you look into that, but it's a risk. Fashion is a risk. You try it and see what happens. Kind of sucks now that we're all stuck at home. During this global pandemic, I can't go to a store and just try things on there, but we got, I just make do with what we gotta do. So, first things first, this thing! The suspender vest that I was telling you about. I accidentally bought two of these. <laughs> it's made of corduroy, is that a thing that I can say? I don't know if the corduroy is like a thing, I don't know. It reminds me of the material I used to wear back when I was in private school. The pants are made out of this stuff. Uh, it's form-fitting, long zipper on the back. And I just personally like having fitted clothing. Albeit this is pretty short, I get it, and I'm 33, and I probably will have to stop dressing like this at some point, but I will enjoy it while I can and still kind of pass off as a young 20s person. These pockets, I keep putting my hands in because they're really, really freaking big. It's awesome. I can't use my camera because it's the thing recording right now. Uh, my phone, I mean, sorry, but look at this coat, look at this. No, look at that. And there's two of them in the front. Like, I don't know why they're directly in the front, but pockets, man. Bro, hang on, I must have like a phone. Oh, wait, this is my phone case, so look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Phone completely in. Yo, just hanging out. Actually, even better. Yo, Nestleberry. Yo, hanging out. Look at that. Bruh. We're ready to go. Oh, even better. I'm freaking ready to go. This is, this is the otaku stand right here. <sighs> Let's do this. Anyway, I really love this thing and kind of glad I accidentally bought two because I'm probably going to wear one out eventually and then I can just slap the other one on. So yeah, this was from Zaffel or Shane. I can't remember, but want to get your own uh, short overalls. They do come in other colors too. I think like green and red and blue grab I like them it's gonna be great for autumn coming up too now the other thing that I have been getting into lately where the heck did I put it but the other thing I've been getting into lately is body suits <laughs> as you can probably tell I like fitted clothing um, I like body suits in particular because it's really hard to find blouses that I like so I could just buy these and then just wear shorts or whatever over them it's soft it's got buttons in the front and it's low cut too, so I could wear the press form vest with that thing too. Basically it's a shirt, but it's a bodysuit. I could wear it with this, I could wear it with skirts, I could wear it with shorts. In fact, we might as well do that now. How will we do this in editing? Hmm. I will just jump? No wait, no, my classic. I will clap. Okay, watch. There. I like these shorts too. These shorts I got a couple years ago from AliExpress who will now not let me buy from them because apparently my credit card is unaccepted and they asked for my ID and I gave it to them and they said no we still won't let you buy with this ID. 
and I just said no more AliExpress. Otherwise, I'd probably have more clothes. Oh well. Anyway, shorts with this bodysuit top, which is like a blouse. I like how the buttons kind of line up on this. Actually, that was totally unintended, but eh, it's cute. It's probably something. I probably would wear with a different wig. I'm just gonna do one wig. No, actually, no, I'll change it to a second wig later. I like the ruffle here because it kind of hides the, uh, it hides the cut because typically if it was like this, you can tell right away when you're looking at someone's chest. This kind of just kind of like masks it. You can't tell right away. What do you call that? Like a cleavage cover up? I don't know. <laughs> I think this combo looks really good though. I like it. If you like it, let me know. They come with a, uh, these shorts come with um, suspenders are on their own too, but I don't, I don't know where I put them. This also looks really good with a skirt, so... And there. Look at that. Cute. This skirt comes from, I believe, Motokawa. The straps on this kind of came loose, so they're being held with safety pins now. I started teaching myself how to sew though, so I can finally fix these properly, which I will do later. This would look better with, I think, my brown wig instead of the gray wig. Um, I am switching to something that does require it, so I will switch wigs right now. I forgot to hit the... I forgot to do that. Whoops. Anyway, yeah, this looks better with these kind of colors. The gray wig's more for goth looks. The brown wig's more for... Natural. Next item. So this one goes a little bit off what I normally do. Can you believe it? I usually wear like blacks and reds and grays and dark colors and stuff like that. You guys probably already seen this. I got myself a little flowery romper. Oh. Very cute. It does go with this wig. A lot of you said to get a little belt to go around it, so I don't really have a belt, but I have like a cord that I can wear around it, and I'm not gonna change my size. Just, I think personally, you wouldn't wear thigh highs or anything like this with this, so. I just need to shave my legs, which I'm not gonna do in this video, but I have dance tights on. See these dance tights? They're perfect. They look like I shaved my leg, but they hide the hairy beast within. Um, I like this thing a lot, actually. It's very... I've only worn this once, and it was in those photos, and it's very... It's very cute. It's very like... This came from, uh, I believe, Shane or Staffel. One of those two dang stores. They're both the same, man. Um, and it's a romper. It's not a skirt. These are shorts. I don't know if you can really see. They're shorts, though. It's... Well, it's not... Sure. It's a it's one giant suit by the way wearing rompers suck when you need to go to the bathroom So buyer beware if you're gonna wear this out somewhere Either don't eat or get ready to take everything off when you go to the bathroom. All right. I'll try this on right now oh. Wait There I like I really I really like how I look at this part of me. I don't normally like to I don't normally like to uh boast about how I look, but I really, I don't know, I think this is really cute. I don't know. I don't normally feel good about how I look when I wear things, so <laughs> this looks really, really nice. A bit wrinkly, I need to iron this, but yeah, see shorts. It looks like a dress if you don't look properly, and I think, yeah, bare legs is better with this thing, although my legs aren't bare at the moment. Probably should change these to like something more lighter, like white and yellow or something like that. Same just getting rid of the choker here. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, I should try this with some kind of belt. This thing comes with like a tie-up bow on here. So that's why I didn't try the belt last time, but I think that looks okay. Yeah, that looks all right. Ah, I really like how this looks. <laughs> stop it, stop. I wanted, let me let me be nice to myself for once, right? I'm always, I'm always hard on myself. So I actually kind of like how this looks. I really hate that we're still stuck inside because people just don't listen. Anyway, rompers, I've been getting into them and this is, Really cute. I think. What do you guys think of this thing? Yeah. Okay. Um, the next thing I have, sort of like what I'm wearing right now, but this is just a full-on dress this time. I'm watching my friend play Fall Guys at the moment. She's trying to get her first win. <laughs> and blah. It's just a dress. It was summer, man. I wanted to go out and wear light, cute things. It's a bit big on the chest here. I could definitely wear like the vest thing and make it just go like Poof, if I really wanted to. I probably should have got a darker summer dress though I think. I have two light dresses now. I should have got this in like dark blue or something like that. So the next one, you might remember this red suspender skirt. 
I got this in Harajuku. I can't remember what store it's called though, but on, I believe it, Zaffo, once again, they had something similar, which comes in black. You might have seen a lot of girls on TikTok have this suspender skirt though. I like this one a lot because it's a bit high waist in the front, and there's a little cute little bow detail in the back. I don't know if you can see it. Basic idea, skirt, blouse, necktie, and socks or tights. Me, always socks, you know me. You know me by now. You've already seen me wear the red one, so I'll wear the black one. Did I do the clap? I can't remember, I... There, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I took out the breast forms for this one because my they're too big and my chest just keeps busting out of here like I'm a big busty anime girl. But hey, it's... Oh, see, it still did. I have a white chest. This blouse is actually from Yes Style, actually. I think that's what they're called. Skirt from Zaffa, like I said. And I like this combination. It's very reminiscent of, like, classic Lolita. Sort of. Very toned down, very, you know, less poof, right? But still kind of keeps that idea. Uh, the bow point. I don't know how to tie a bow. Can someone link me something? <laughs> I'll look it up later. Uh, I like the fact that this comes up high a bit, once again, to balance out torso and rest of the body weight, or body proportions. I wore this out for dinner once with a friend, and it was comfortable. I liked it. Probably wear this out next time I go do like a party with friends or something like that. This is something more that I would like to wear out anyway. It's cute. Um, it's cute. <laughs> That's all I have to really say about it. So. Yeah, I put the grey wig back on for this one too, because once again, grey. Black and white colors is what I like to do. So, yeah. Speaking of gray, black, and white. Now, the goth. You've seen this, you've seen me post this. I'm pretty sure most of you have, but this thing is the, by far my most favorite thing. This thing, it came from one of those rando goth stores you would find on Facebook. I believe this one was called Deadly Skulls. This took a while to get here because I ordered this out in April and because of the world right now, mail took a while to arrive. So this arrived in like early August, but it's very sh like short, obviously, right? But I like it and it's very form fitting, which I really, really like. So um, I really want to wear this out one day, but I can't. This is the pandemic. It's advertised with a mesh top too, which I have right here. I think a white blouse could actually go with the top of this thing too. I might have to try that out sometime. That might actually be a really nice look. But I'll just wear it with this for now and combine it with this and fishnets as well while keeping the thigh highs along with it. And I think it looks really good, especially with this wig. Some more extra accessories. I just sewed these buttons back on though because they fell off and I really wanted to keep. Some of you have drawn me with fan art or drawn me fan art of this with this on and very clearly missing these two buttons because on the photos that were out, it didn't have the buttons there, so I understand. But they're supposed to look like this, just so you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put this on. I'm also gonna stop the video because it's been running for an hour. Yes, there. Yes, the power. I really like this thing. It's very, very like different. Oh, the nice thing about this, look how deep these pockets are, man. Look, phone, phone test once again. Look at that. You don't even have to have Yo hanging out. Look at this. The Nesso test? Where is she? I mean, you wouldn't carry a Nesso in there anyway, but hey. Look. Pretty dope. A lot of people have this thing. A lot. I've seen a lot of people buy this and post about it, right? So I thought I wanted to have my own spin at it, and I think I made it look really good. Look at this fits my body really well. I don't remember what size is. I think it's just a large. So I'm a big boy. But yeah, I'm gonna wear this out so bad for like a fancy dinner or something like that. But dang you, pandemic. Dang you. Would look really good with my flu mask too, actually. Where is my flu mask? Where is it? Yeah, there we go. Check that. What else about this thing can I mention? Uh, the flowers in the hair. I've had these accessories for like forever. I think they came from H&M. I would do my nails with this, probably. Fishnets are just fishnets. Thigh highs. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. I don't know what else to say about this thing. You can't really think of an, oh yeah, I would like a suggestion from you guys. What kind of jacket or something to go over this would look good? What do you think? Because I want to wear this out whenever I can, eventually, hopefully when it's cooler, obviously. 
but I don't know what would be a good like overcoat for this thing. Leave, leave suggestions, let me know. I would also love more fan art of this picture if you guys want, but you don't have to do it. Actually, you know what? I wonder how a Johanne wig would look with this outfit. But anyway, that's all the clothes. Most of them. There's a whole bunch of missed outfits, which kind of suck. Don't really want to show them, but yeah. So check out all the links in the description below for that one. Don't forget to check out Cross Dress Show, sponsoring this video. Thank you very much, Cross Dress Show. I am wearing the inserts again, once again in here. They go very well with this. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you like my outfits and just, you know, general selfies of me. And if you like the really spicy pictures, you can go on OnlyFans. Oh. But don't if you're a young child. Don't do that. You don't need that right now. But if you're an adult, come on in. No nudes though. Don't worry about it. It's just, just lewd pictures. And yeah, I'm Rin Senpai. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. This is a very long video. I'm going to hate editing it, but I did it. Fashion haul video of 2020. Finally, we did it, guys. <sighs> okay, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, I forgot to sync up the video earlier when I turned the camera back on. Hang on.